The National Assembly's Departmental Committee on Communication, Information and Innovation has questioned Data Commissioner Immaculate Kasait on the operation of Wildcoin in Kenya, the source of the money given to Kenyans, why Wildcoin's activities were undetected despite suspension of its operations and the number of Kenyans whose eyes were scanned. The Commissioner was at pains to explain how the company continued with its operations despite a suspension. What were the why were they taking this iris scan? Where were they taking them? What for? Was there a consent form before somebody was taken uh, the, 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 the scan? Who did you contact? In which form did you contact that agency or the world coin? Was it on the telephone? Was it on the WhatsApp? Was it on the internet? Yeah. The Office of the Data Commissioner is a regulatory bond by the provision of the Data Protection Act, which doesn't envisage agreements between the office and data controllers and data processors. Therefore, there was no agreement between the Office of the Data Protection Commissioner and WorldCoin on the modalities covering the data collected. Kenyans would be keen to know if there is a, a distinction between the format and manner in which WorldCoin is collecting data and the data that exists as biometrics in other existing uh, apps that Kenyans are using. The late Professor Michele Gidae Mugo has been hailed as 